all right guys so i have another video for all of y'all uh i'm deciding to make in this video and comparing these multitudes that i have uh, and the reason i do it because a lot of you guys have been asking me about this one where where can you find it uh obviously it's husky so the place you will find it will be home depot the only place that i know uh some guys said on amazon but the one that i saw on amazon it was not this one it's the old model uh, so please, uh, whenever you're looking for this one, the one that I'm actually doing is the new, newest model. The old model is different. It doesn't have all six essential sizes that you will need for HVAC. Uh, the old model for Husky, uh, it's bigger, bunkier, heavier. Kind of has, it has like that design. This kind of design has it here as well. I'm talking about the old model of Husky. So whenever you're looking for this, to make sure it's the newest model, not the old one, because the old one is not gonna give you the essential nut driver size that you need for HVAC. Uh, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm gonna we're gonna compare all these three tools. Uh, I wanna clarify, I'm not getting paid from Klein or Husky. Uh, you know, I do this for uh, each and every one of y'all. So <clears throat> I'm not trying to promote one uh brand versus another one that's not they're all great tools you might have this one already or this one or you might even already have this one as well but uh once again all we're doing in this video we're gonna compare uh these tools and which one that i personally like better uh in my case i like the husky better over all these three uh, but they're all great tools. They're all great tools. We know Klein is a pretty high quality tool. Uh, it might mean better, high, higher quality than Husky, but when it comes to this specific tool, Husky is a great quality tool on this one, and I love it. Uh, I've been satisfied with this one. I've been uh, using it for almost a year, and I haven't had any issues at all. Uh, the only thing that I can say is probably those tips sometimes are a little hard to to take like the, the flat head screwdriver or the uh, the Phillips screwdriver's head sometimes are a little a really a little hard uh, to take off but other than that I haven't had any issues so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open each and every one of these we're gonna compare them and then uh, you judge uh, on your own and see which one you like better I said you might already have one of these. This one, uh, I do recommend it a lot, and I'm gonna explain the reason why I like it better, uh, better uh, before this one's over these two. All right, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna continue to uh, with this video now. All right, guys, so I'll just open these two for you so we can uh, see how this one works, um, if we liked it or not. I didn't put them in order, I just put them uh, as I was grabbing them. So this is how the two looks. Obviously, all depends where you put the size and that's how the shape on this is gonna change. But this is just for you to have an idea how these two works. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons on this one. This two is actually not bad, bad at all. It's not that heavier. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good. It's not like I said, heavier. So what do you get with these two is uh, six essential nut driver sizes that you need for HVAC, which is the, the one quarter, five sixteen, eleven thirty two, three eight, seven sixteen, and half inch. It's also impact rated, uh, seven in one impact flip socket set with handle. So you can, what, what you can do with this tool, you can actually use it as a nut driver with handle, or you can use it on your impact driver or a regular drill. So that's one of the pros with this one, that if you don't have to carry extra uh, tips for your uh, impact driver, so you can have it all here on this too. You can tell the quality, the handle is pretty good. Uh, I like it, the quality of clean, like I said, it's always outstanding. Uh, so you get magnetics, you know, there's magnets, it tells you right there in the package. And for every size, because the magnet stays in the tip, of this uh, stick right here so every time you switch the sizes that the tip is the same it's just all you're changing is the sizes 
So what I, I'm not too satisfied with this or it's not a huge of a deal, you know, just preferences is uh, what do you gotta do sometimes to change the, uh, the sizes. For example, right now if I'm using a 3 8 you know, let's say I'm taking a 3 8 and sometimes you're gonna and you, uh, have that issue. And you say, you know what, I don't need a 3 8 anymore. Now I need to get a 1 quarter or 5 16. So you will say, okay, well, let's take it off. I don't have a phone holder, guys, so I'm gonna try to be doing it with one hand. Apologize for that. Uh, <clears throat> and let's say you said, okay, I want a 5 16 and 1 quarter. And you might say, oh, let's just go forward. And it stops right there. You cannot go any for, uh, for. I already tried with both hands, uh, unless I'm doing something wrong, but you can, you cannot go forward. So what you gotta do is, like I said, you take off this tip like I did. Now, I gotta take this whole thing off. You press this one in and then it releases. Let's see if I, yeah, release right there. Now I gotta take this one off because I have it first. Do the back side, 516, and there you go. Now I'm gonna take this one off, all the way off to the back side. Like I said, I'm only using one hand, so it's not as as hard as it looks on the video. So I'm only and now I'm gonna put it through the front side of the world, the magnetic, and I'm gonna put the 516. Now, let's say you're losing the screws on a cover. And somebody put two different size, 516 and 38. You might say, okay, I'm gonna need the 38 later, so I'm just gonna leave it there on the side somewhere so I don't have to do all that deal. But you might end up losing it. Or you said, you know what, uh, I don't want to lose it, so I'm just going to put it back in. So you'll put this one first, because this is the one you're not using. And then you put your 3 eighths back in there. And now you can put your, the whole thing back on the handle. There you go. Now you can use your 516. We well, time to put the cover back. Now you're putting the 516 screws back and now you remember you have some 3.8s. Now what you gotta do is do the same thing. You gotta take the whole thing off, whole thing off. Like I'm doing right now. Like I said, it's not as hard as it looks because I'm using one hand so it's harder for me. You take that one 516 off, put this one to the back side, put your 516 back so you won't lose it. And now you put your through eggs. Now you put it back in the handle. So that's that's the only thing that I don't like about this one. That it's too much of a deal having to do all of that. To me, that's too much of a deal. Taking this one back and then uh, all of that. I don't like it, so that's, that's why I I go with the husky first. Now sometimes this two might be too thick, like as you can see here. I haven't tried uh, like those. Like that right there, you know. Let's say you're using a 516 to replace a uh, contactor. That part might be too thick on some of these uh, tips for drills. That it might not fit. It might not work because it's too close to to the edge of the the wall of the contactor, or whatever, you know. So that's another deal, which is something that I have not have that issue with the Husky. So this is the first claim one. Uh, judge yourself how you like it. Like I said, it's 
don't get me wrong it's pretty good too pretty good to high quality not too heavy uh, so let's see the next one then. all right so let's put that one on the side so now I open this one for you this is the next one the next claim and what do you get with this one you get magnetic as well you get a uh, 1 quarter 3 8 5 16 7 16 11 32 half inch and 9 9 16 which I don't care too much about the 9 16 now the magnetic if i'm not mistaken you don't get it for the 916 and the 716 it's only for the rest of the tools um but just for for comparison um just look at the size it's much bigger this one is much much bigger and much much heavier this one is really heavy this one is really heavy. You can also use it as a hammer if you want. Just kidding, guys. But uh, this one is actually heavier and is much, much bigger. Quality is pretty good. Uh, good grip. Uh, you can use the, your crescent wrench. You know, if if there's a screw that is kind of hard to lose, that it has, it happens a lot actually. So that's a plus on this one. Uh, now these sizes, I already try try it with my with one hand, and it's kind of hard to dismantle it with one hand. So I'm gonna try into I cannot anymore. So you get a 11, 32, and this one half inch. All you do is pull it off of this, and then you flip it, and you can change that side. Now you get a 516. So what you do is you take all this one first, and then you take this one, which I'm not gonna be able to do it with one hand. And you're gonna have on the other side of this one you have uh, one quarter but if you pull it all off now you have the 716 available what I don't like is same thing you, on this one you have to actually uh, place this on the side and this one too like if you want to use the 716 you have to place that and this on the side you cannot use it without putting them back so you won't lose them so you are always at a risk where you might lose these tips because you're using a 716 and you can put it back in these two. Uh, now you can put the whole thing off. Let's see if I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use both of my hands. I'm up dismantle it and then I'm gonna show it to you all, all uh, taken apart. Okay, so here you have it, taking it apart. The reason I did it off camera is because I only can do it with one hand because I don't have phone holder again. Uh, and it's really hard to do it. It's impossible to do it with one hand. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, what I don't like about this one is much heavier, much bigger, and it's also complicated. You know, like I said, you have to put some of the size on the size, on the side, to be able to use uh, other different uh, sizes. And I don't like that. I like to be able to put it back so I won't lose it. Um, Obviously, and many, even in the husky, there's some tips that you have to put on the side. Um, that's it, that's something that I don't like, but oh well, whatever. Anyway, so the way you put it back together, what you get on this one, you get a 916 and 716 on this side. So this one you get a 38 and a 516 so the 516 goes in here into the 916 and then you gotta make sure it's on the right yeah there you go so you cannot just put it anywhere you have to make sure it's in the right uh, key area so now you got three eights and the uh, what was it the 516 in there 916 and 716 now the next step is putting this one quarter into the 716 and again you have to make sure you put it on the where the key goes the locking key Hold it. i don't have a hard time there you go okay that one i did put in the right place okay so now you got the one quarter in there and this tip 
to put the next uh, sizes, which is 1132 and half inch. And this is magnet right here, magnetic. So you can have a magnet on those two sizes. Here, there you have it. Now that you put it all together, you can place it in here into the handle. I guess you also have to look for the position of the key. There you go, and a horn. So this is the other uh, claim too. Much bigger, much heavier. And I think it's a little more complicated than that one actually. If I have to choose between these two, I would choose this one. If I have to choose between these two, I would choose this one. Anyway, so <clears throat> these are the two clean ones. Now we're gonna compare these two to the next one, which is my Husky. All right, so keep tuned. And here you have it, guys. This is the one that I love so much. To me, this is the champion of these ones. This personal opinion. You might like this one better. This is pretty pretty good as well. I like this one actually. This one I, I just don't. I don't like it. Uh, period. But this one I love it. Uh, on this one you get more than just not drivers. This one all you get is not drivers and nothing else. Now I know there's an 1130 uh, 11 in 1 but in the 11 in 1 remember you don't get all the not drivers. But in this one here look at all the things you get. You get a Philips P1, P2, P3, uh, slot, it says 3, 16 inch, 1 quarter, uh, and 5, 16. A hex of 1 quarter, not drivers. You get a, I think the slotted is the flat head. Yeah, it is. So not drivers, you get a 1 quarter, uh, 5, 16, 11, 32, 3, 8, 7, 16, half inch, 11, 11 16 i don't care for 11 16 at all and then you get a socket adapter of one quarter and that's pretty cool too for the so socket ad adapter um i care more for the one quarter five 16 11 32 3 8 7 16 and half inch not i don't care about 11 16 but look at all the things you get on this 15 in one husky too not only that, the design of this one, look at this. Smaller, lighter, easy to use. I always is hard with one hand to take this, this apart, but I'm gonna take it all apart for you off camera, and then I'm gonna show you all the sizes. So let's put the package to the size, and let's put all this together. Just look at this. Look at the size, guy much smaller uh lighter you can easily put it in a two pouch and a small two pouch and have a lot of two in just one this is a 15 in one it's just more than not drivers these are only not drivers good tools as well but if i have to choose between these these three i would go with the husky it's cheaper as well. This one you'll find it on Home Depot for 30. These two are $30 at Home Depot. And this one is $15 at Home Depot, which, which is half of the price of these two. So you can buy two of these with the price of one of these. Uh, you might find this in a deal for $25 at a HVAC supply uh, place. So that's $25 not a bad deal for it's not a bad deal for this one but, but again I like this better and I like to have my smaller tips uh, drill tips uh, in my two pouch somewhere else and they also sell those tips where you can flip the size so that's what I have in my two pouch to also save space I'd rather do that than this one so look at this guys beautiful compact beautiful design I'm impressed how Husky came up with this uh, design. I think they, they nailed it with this one. Uh, so I'm gonna take it apart for you so you can look at it and have a closer look and uh, we can compare with all, uh, with these two over here. Let me take it apart for you.
<clears throat> and here you have it guys just look at it look at how compact this is i'm actually i didn't struggle and i'm not even lying i'm not trying to make things up i wish i had a stand phone stand so you can say i didn't even struggle to take any of this apart i think the other two that i have the reason i've been having a hard time taking this off is because i need to lubricate, lubricate them again they they got some water and they're getting a little rusty this one so i need to lubricate them the quality is not bad guys you know like I'm telling you, for $15 and you get all of these, the quality is not bad. And let's say, even if, if if I take this apart, like if I put this on the side and I only want to use it for not drivers, it's a lot easier to use this right here versus these two together. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. And then not only that, if you only use it as a not driver, uh, it's gonna get lighter not not only that but uh you don't have to set on the side any of these tips you can just flip it put it back and and and, and, and you will never lose those tips because you will have never to you, you're never gonna have to put it on the side uh to, to be able to use any of these tools use like i said use flip it um and then you can use it while you're still uh protecting this one inside these two wherever uh, they they're supposed to be placed so to me this is a lot of two for uh, 15 dollars let me show you real quick what i mean with uh, you don't have to put them on the side like this one you put it right here if you're gonna use 1132 you can just put it back where it goes this one if you're gonna use 516 you can put it back where it goes you can put it back it's pretty simple to use see so you always have your size in here if you want to use it just as not driver because if you want to use 516 use flip it on the side if you want to use a uh, uh, one quarter use flip it on the side uh, my bad the only time yes actually yeah the only time you will have to take it off is when you already have to use 716 and half inch yeah that's when you actually need to put it on the side my mistake my bad so those are the only times that you need to put the two on the side when you need to use half inch and 716 uh look at how how is uh beautiful this looks like if you only do, do it as a nut driver. Just look at the comparison. Beautiful. Lighter, a lot lighter, a lot smaller. But why would I only use it as a nut driver when I can have all these tip, tips on me as well? Okay, so I'm gonna take it apart again. I cannot do it with one hand because it's slippery. And then I'm gonna put all the sizes back together for you okay so there you have it uh, this is the husky 15 in 1 here's the package again 15 in 1 the part number is right there in the corner lifetime warranty I don't know how true that is but uh, it's a beautiful tool I recommend it 100% I love it I've been loving it so much so let's put all the tips back together uh, you get three Phillips three uh flat heads and then you get a uh, this uh what is it called hex one quarter and a socket adapter right here so let's put it together just have a little patience with me this one goes here never mind this one this one goes on the 1132 and then this one goes on the three eighths. And then this one goes on the one quarter. And then this one goes on the five sixteen. This one goes on the half inch. You have it. And then 
this one goes in the 716. It doesn't matter which size you use, you can use whatever size you want. It's not as complicated as the other ones, and in this one you can use either size too. It doesn't matter if you put it like that or you put it like this. Goes. There you go. Okay, and there you have it, guys. This is the 15 in 1 Husky, and these are the other uh, tools that you have uh, from Claim. Make your own judgment and uh, see which one you like the best. Like I said, me personally, I go $15, buy me two of these with the price of one of these and I'll be happy with my uh, Husky 15 in 1. I've been using it for a while. I have never had any issues, to be honest. Haven't had the need of a regular short uh, nut driver uh, with this Husky. This Husky has been more than enough. I haven't, to be honest, I have not had the need of using a regular uh, short uh, nut driver. Uh, this Husky has been more than enough. The only time that I have to use a regular separate nut driver is the long ones, uh, which I keep three sizes in my pouch. I keep a 3.8, a long, a long 3.8, long uh, 5.16, and a long one quarter with magnetics. Other than that, I don't need to be carrying extra <clears throat> nut drivers in my two pouch or in my two bag. This is all that I need and it's been working great for me. I hope this video you find it helpful. Uh, like I said, this is uh, the three tools that you have, the 15 in one Husky for this one. And then you get the seven in one nut driver for this one right here. There's the part numbers. And finally you get the uh, seven in one impact flip socket set with handle and there's a part number and that's for the middle one right here okay hope you find this video helpful uh like and subscribe please put your comments comments there let me know what you think uh, thank you thank you thank you so much for watching and your support i'll see you in the next one guys